So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to come down to frequency pressure and just collapse this. I could decide to delete this check layer because I don't I don't need it right now. I, I I I barely use the check layer for the frequency separation bit. So what I do right now is I come down to my action, the dodge and bone retouching action. I have this action also on my website for free. You can download and um, I'm just gonna click on the action as you guys can see right there and it's gonna like play the action and we can have dodge and bone, dodge and bone to dodge and bone global and all of that. So for the dodge and bone right now I'm going to use um, I'm going to use the invert check layer. I'm gonna click on it the image is gonna turn into like um negatives yeah negatives as well as being called so what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to click on the levels under the invert check invert check i can't i, I can't i say invert <laughs> under the invert check layer i'm going to click on the levels double like double click on this bit right here and actually drag the mid tones of these levels this middle one i'll drag it a little bit so i can see like I want to be able to just see different shades of how the image is looking using this so i could start off from here and build my way up so retouching often takes time but really it varies per picture and it varies depending on how skilled you are retouching you so people could run through this really fast so and how i'm going to do this is i'm not going to use a mixer brush this time i'm going to use a normal brush so I'll use a soft brush. I'm going to click on this brush menu right here. I'll use a normal brush this time. And I'll make sure that my brush is a soft round brush. Yeah, I could decide to use a soft round brush or I actually already have like this um was this retouching stuff from um, PH Len. I could decide to use that, but for this tutorial right here, I'll use a normal soft round brush. Because not everybody would actually have access to that particular brush from PHLine. I think it was purchased or something. So I'm going to use a normal software and brush that everybody's going to have on the Photoshop to be able to like follow along. And um, yeah, I'm going to zoom in this time. And okay, yeah, the funny thing about using the invert, invert check layer is now you, you with time you, you get really used to it because sometimes me myself i still make a mistake while using this invert check so what happens is if you're trying to dodge right here if you're trying to dodge um, um okay this is it you're obviously going to like you know the the layer is already maxed as black so you need to use white a white brush to reveal so if it's under this maxed layer right here so make sure everything you're doing right here is already sticky like you don't need to change this into maybe black or white it's it's always stay as white so <clears throat> aside it just staying at white right now what i do right now if i need to dodge dodge means like lighting or something so i need to look for areas that are like bright right here yeah i could see like you could see this bright area this beach right here as you guys can see right here this 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 area that is maybe i should zoom in a little bit more so everyone can be able to see this clearly so this white patch here this white patch here anywhere in which there's white patches i'm going to like i'm gonna have to like dodge them so i'm gonna paint on basically if you're on the dodge um layer in photoshop you need to like Anywhere that is white, that it shouldn't be white in the general area, you need to actually paint on it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think as soon as I start, you guys will be able to understand. You see all these white patches right here? I need to like paint on them to actually make them look even. So um, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click on the normal dodge and make sure this is white, like I said before. So I'm going to go down to this. This white patch right here and you need to make sure your flow is in about two percent for a start so because you don't want it looking intense and mess your mess up your image so white patch right here what i'm doing right now is i'm just basically rotating it to be able to like brush um much more easier on my tablet right here so i'm going to use the white brush paint over this white brush as you can see right there 
the white is not looking old hour anymore it has gotten darkened like it's darkened down so you're basically making the area evil so that's what i'm doing right here and at the same time when you're doing the jump bone try as much to zoom in and zoom out because zooming in and zoom out would actually do you real good so you can see what what it's looking like in a larger scale and also go in to like do your adjustment so there so now you can see i clicked on the bone layer because i feel like there is this bit looks like dark it's not much in this area like, that means like it's there's a texture around there like it's not seamless it needs to look seamless so i'm going to click on the bone you don't need to change it to a black or a white brush Just keep it on black so anywhere that is black this time i'm going to paint using my bone menu so this dark bit i'm going to paint on them so they can look lighter so that's what i'm going to do paint on this dark bit yeah i think the dodge and bone bit tends to like take a little bit of time but i can tell you if you if you continue with it in no time you get really familiar using it and it don't look like you're actually wasting a whole lot of time doing it but i wouldn't do i wouldn't do like this type of dodge and bone on every single image because it could be actually like time time consuming so i often do like beauty images like very close-up images that's when i tend to use the dodge and bone but if it's like a full end picture i don't i don't use dodge and bone I'm going to go down to the levels and I'm going to reduce this level again, the meter, so I can see much more detail again. So, still using the bond tool right now. Just want to clean up the black area. Yeah, I could decide to show you guys like what we have done with this dodge and bone right now by just clicking on this right here. this is what we've done with the dodge and this is the what we've done with the bone you guys can see it's still like the shape of the subject face for like all dark lights everything so yeah so let's move on i'm going to like go back to the levels again and increase it again so i can just see if there's still any more patches i need to fix on the face so i can see this bit is not like looking very clean this part so I need to like fix it up right here yeah so guys for now I can say I am good so I'm going to turn off the inverted layer right now and we see the picture itself so yes guys this is the picture after doing the dodge and bone let me turn off the dodge and bone menu or um, layer so you guys can see what we did before and after before the that's after using frequency separation so this is immediately after we just use only frequency separation image looks clean looks nice but then when we had it the dodge and bone you can see how it's like actually smoothing the skin out way more than just frequency separation only so see it again there 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 can you guys see that so yeah that's what we've done with the um dodge and bone so the other final dodge and boning i have to do right now is easy peasy just for me to like because as i said the um, frequency separation will take away like the the made image flatter so right now i just want to like add the highlights the contouring in which the makeup artist actually did on set and all of that i just want to add it back and make sure the image is like three dimensional so that's what i want to do right now and i'll just go to the second dodge and bone right here 
I make sure I'm using a white brush and I'll use the same um, um, flow of 2% for it so I could decide to turn on the black and white check layer and just add a little bit of highlight here yeah add a little bit of highlight here add highlight here under the cheek about there add highlight here As I'm painting white, and I say I had highlights, so I'm painting white here. Yeah, and I'm painting white under the cheek right here. And also, I'm going to add a little bit of like highlights about here. Highlights over the nose. And once I've done that, I to darken this area around the nose darken around the makeup darken darken yeah i'll darken around the cheekbone right here and i'm making my brush bigger so it doesn't just look like a single line on the person's face because yeah the makeup artist into it that way so i'm going to darken around the cheekbone also yeah just about there and everything is like you need to be subtle with your edit and your darkening and your dodging and burning you don't want to make a mess after you've already fixed fixed stuff already so yeah i'll darken around the collarbone here and add the highlights on the collarbone right here add the highlights here add another highlight right here and to even make the to make it easy for you to actually even be able to like see it more you could decide to turn off this frequency separation so we see the original image the way it looks so this can actually aid your dodging and burning so like we've done just just paint over it. anywhere you see the highlights put the highlights and anywhere you see the shadow just do it so i think i've done that i'm going to take it back I've done that so I'll turn off the black and white check layer and let me show you guys what we did with this second dodge and bone there can you guys see that you can see that there's still like shadow around uh, so now backing it down and created much more like defined cheekbones and all of that yeah ducking around this bit a little bit more so it can create shape yeah yes guys so if i've done this right now i'm going to move on to let me show you guys the general before and after of this um stuff so before after before let me zoom let me zoom in here so you guys can see clearly Bef this is after and this is the before so i'm going to like come down i'm going to flatten all of this because i don't need i don't need them anymore because i know i'm done so i'm going to press my command shift e to create to like flatten everything then i'm going to like go to my actions which i have free on my website also and whiten the highs a very long video guys <laughs> so I'll increase my flow for this one and paint over the eyes and make sure the eyes is looking proper yeah just whiten the high the white bit of the eyes so once I've done that and I could decide to do the same thing to the teeth too if I feel like the teeth needs a little bit more whitening I could whiten the tip a little bit more. Yeah, there we have it. I have the action for the tip whitening also on my website. You could check that. So I'm going to put a link to my website down in this video so you guys can actually just check the product page and just get it it's all for free right there. So um, since I've done this right now, all I have to do next is probably if I think anything needs look refined or fixing in general i could decide to do that so 
So guys, at this point, I can say I'm actually done with this image. Um, <clears throat> all I have to do next is probably like do the general grid, like add a little bit more contrast if, it, contrast if it's needed. This is personal preference. So the way I'm going to do mine could be different from the way you're going to do yours. So I decided to add a little bit more contrast to the image so it's much more defined. I could decide to reduce the saturations of like general saturation, maybe the saturation of the red, because obviously when you had um, contrast on image, it adds color. And I don't like my images like too saturated and all of that. So yeah, I could decide to add, reduce the saturation of the image. I've added um, contrast and yeah, this, 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 could, this could be like my final image right now. Let me show you guys the general before and after where we started from and how we got right here. So this is before, how my image right there, and this is the after right here. So I think we have actually done a great job on this particular image. And um, so guys, if you think you've learned something in this image, um, kindly click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new videos. And um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a great day.